In this video tutorial, we will learn division of polynomials. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to divide any polynomial P by another polynomial Q with um, less degree, with degree which is less or equal. And um, we will have a remainder R. Uh, also, we will learn the process of the long division of how to divide one polynomial by another polynomial and we will give uh, a lot of examples like us and subscribe and let's get started uh, first of all let's begin with example we have to uh, gain understanding of division let's divide a polynomial 4a squared b plus 13ab squared and divide it by ab. In this case, uh, it's very important to understand that this is equal to 4a squared b divided by ab plus 13ab squared divided by ab which is uh, 4a plus 13b, because we have um, uh, cancellations here. Um, I wanted to explain that in this case, in our example, when we divide sum of monomials, this is the sum of two monomial and the result will be a polynomial and if we divide the sum of two monomials by a monomial in this case a quotient quotient of a sum quotient of a sum is equal to the sum of quotients uh, it's very important to realize. And if we divide a polynomial by a polynomial, the quotient, generally speaking, is not always a polynomial. For example, assume we divide a polynomial a squared plus x squared And divide it by a plus x. So we divide a polynomial by a polynomial. And in this case, uh, this quotient cannot be represented as a polynomial. But another quotient, a squared minus x squared divided by a plus x, can be represented as a polynomial because uh, using algebraic identity shortcut multiplication formulas we learned earlier in this uh, playlist we can um, write a squared minus x squared as a minus x times a plus x and in this case, we have a cancellations here, and the result will be a minus x. That's why uh, our quotient can be represented as a polynomial. Um, but in the first case here, uh, this quotient cannot be represented as a polynomial. If you uh, watched our arithmetic playlist, in our channel, you can remember that uh, any number can be divided by another smaller number and we will have a remainder. For example, if we have a number p and we want to divide this number p by number q, as a result, we have that p can be remind uh, represent can be represented as q times 
some number m plus a remainder r. And in this case, remainder r is less than q, the divisor. Um, as an example, assume we have p is equal to 33 and q is equal to 4. And we want to divide 33 by number 4. And in this case, 33 can be represented as 4 times 8, which is 32, and plus 1, which gives us 33. And uh, 1, of course, is less than divisor 4. Uh, the same logic works for polynomials. And to define this division, uh, first we have to define the concept of degree of a polynomial. Let's give a definition. Definition. Um, degree of a polynomial is the highest power of its letter. For example, assume we have a polynomial a x squared plus bx plus c and we can represent we can denote this polynomial as some polynomial p uh, which depends on variable x and of course by definition let's again uh, repeat our definition degree of a polynomial is the highest power of its letter and here 2 is the highest power of its letter x. That's why, uh, by definition, this polynomial, degree of this polynomial, p of x is equal to 2. Uh, assume another example. Assume we have a x to the power 4 plus b x to the power 3 plus c. Assume this is another um, polynomial, p1 uh, of x. In this case, uh, degree of the polynomial p1 of x will be, of course, 4, because the highest degree of uh, its variable is 4. Along the same uh, way, if we have a polynomial 123x to the power 7 plus 1, in this case, this polynomial p2x, in this case, degree of our polynomial p2 of x is equal to 7, because this is the highest power of its variable of its letter. It was a definition of a degree of a polynomial. Um, next, we can divide a polynomial, assume we have a polynomial p of x, and we can divide our polynomial by another polynomial q of x. And of course, degree, degree of Q must be less than degree of, must be less or equal than a degree of P. In this case, when we divide, we will have as a result our polynomial P of X is equal to our divisor polynomial q of x multiplied by some another polynomial m of x plus a remainder r of x and as for numbers degree of our remainder r of x of this polynomial must be less than degree of a divisor polynomial 
q of x. q of x. Let's um, give an example, but before we have to understand that uh, our remainder, remainder polynomial r, can be a constant. In this case, the degree of our polynomial r is zero. For example, we can have uh, that our polynomial r of x uh, can be some constant c. It can be, for example, r can be 17. And in this case, 17, of course, is equal to 17 times x to the power 0. And in this case, this is equal to 1. That's why degree of our polynomial, remainder polynomial r, is 0. And the process of finding a quotient and a remainder is similar to the process of finding quotient and remainder for numbers. Watch our arithmetic course. Next, let's give and describe a division process for polynomials. Let's give a first example of polynomial division. Example number one. Let's uh, divide um, polynomial 8 a cubed uh, plus 16 a to the power 2 minus 2a plus 4. Um, this polynomial will be divided and this polynomial is called the uh, dividend. Uh, dividend polynomial. And let's divide our polynomial by another polynomial 4a to the power 2 minus 2a plus 1. And this polynomial is a divisor. And this polynomial will divide our dividend. And the result uh, will be written here. And it will be a quotient. Quotient polynomial. Let's perform a division. Uh, first of all, um, we have to multiply our first member of our divisor by a monomial that will um, cancel off this first member of our dividend. And we will get rid of this first element. Um, it will be clear from the example. Let's divide um, 4a squared by 2a and of course if we divide 2a by 4a if we multiply 2a by 4a squared we will have 8a to the power 3 let's write it 8a to the power 3 next we we, we multiply 2a by the next element and uh, 2a times minus 2a will give us minus 4a squared. Minus 4a squared. And uh, one thing we have to understand that we have to write element of our polynomials correspondingly. So... Um, elements with the power 3 is are written on the elements with power 3 and elements with power 2 are written on the elements with power 2. 
next we multiply 2a by last element of our divisor and 2a times 1 will be 2a plus 2a. Next we uh, subtract, we perform a subtraction and of course here we will have a cancellation. 8a cubed minus 8a cubed will be 0. Uh, next, 16. 16 a to the power 2 minus minus 4a squared will be 20. Will be 20a squared. And uh, minus 2a minus minus 2a will give us minus 4a minus 4a and plus 4 this plus 4 is written next uh, step will be uh, we have to multiply 2a, this 2a, by, uh, we have to, sorry, we have to multiply this 4a squared by a monomial to get rid of this 20a squared. And of course, um, we have to multiply it by plus 5. Because if we multiply 5 by 4a squared, it will be 20a squared. So we will have 20a squared. And next 5 times minus 2a will be minus 10a. Minus 10a. And 5 times 1 will be 5. Next, we perform a subtraction again. And 20a squared and 20a squared will be, we have a cancellation. And uh, minus 4a minus minus 10a will give us plus 6a or just 6a. And 4 minus 5 will give us minus 1. And at last we see that degree of our polynomial which left is 1. And uh, degree of our remainder is less than degree of our uh, divisor. That's why the process is finished. And uh, this 6a minus 1 is a remainder. And that's why we can write that our dividend, let's write it here, our dividend 8, a to the power 3, plus 16, a to the power 2, minus 2a plus 4, is can be represented as a quotient 2a plus 5 times a divisor 4a squared minus 2a plus 1 and plus a remainder 6a minus 1. Let's give another example, example number two. 